Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Now as you can see, uh, I've been mining some obsidian. Trying to get a few more pieces. Now last time, well, last time I actually started doing a was a test episode of Bandicam that came between this one and episode 19. Not technically a full episode, but yeah. And as you can see, I'm still using Bandicam. But on the episode before that, I was trying to put together uh <coughs> trying to put together the what was it? Oh yeah, the pump and the infrastructure I would need to build my nether pumping station. Now, I already have the pump built, as well as the redstone engines to power it. And I left my miner on for a few hours while I ran around looking for more endermen. So I could build another tesseract. Unfortunately, I didn't get enough for them. I think I only got three ender eyes. Yeah, three ender eyes. So I decided to come down here and get some more obsidian because I'm going to need it for the glass. 27 should be enough. But yeah, I left the miner going. Got a, got the copper I needed. More than enough copper that I needed. Got a couple of stacks, I think. At least a stack and a half. So I should be able to finish the centrifuge and start centrifuging all that beeswax I've got. All those honeycombs, I mean. And get the beeswax out of it. But yeah, let's head back. And I'll put that centrifuge together. I'll stick some of this um... Obsidian. Mm -hmm. I'll stick some of this obsidian in the pulverizer so I can uh, start getting the frames ready for that tesseract. I still need to find some more endermen though. If I could find an end portal, that would be nice. That, but to get to there, I would need. But to get to the end, I would need ender eyes. Actually, I would need a. What is it? Eye of Ender. And for that, you need not only ender eyes, but also um, ender, eye of ender, blaze powder. Yeah. So I have to find blazes. So yeah, I can't. I can't do that. Suppose I could maybe try trading with the villagers. Sometimes they'll trade ender eyes. But yeah, probably just faster to. Look around here for more Endermen. But anyway, as you can see, I got a full stack of copper from all the stuff that was being smelted. And let's see how many is it I need for the um, Tesseract. Tesseract frame. I need four, which needs two for two, so eight. I need eight powdered obsidian. So I'll stick eight of these in here. And yeah, okay. I forgot to put more coal in here. Eight, nine, ten. That should be enough. What about you? Ah, you need more coal. And this is the reason why I am trying to get this power system set up. So I can have my engines and stuff feeding into like a redstone energy cell and keeping it powered up so it'll automatically feed energy into these and I won't have to keep putting coal in here and the reason I keep only put a few a few in here at a time is because otherwise they'll stop working and I'll have to come back and hit it with a hammer anyway and I'll wait, just waste coal so I suppose that might be a better thing to do. But, yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's see. I had sturdy casing. And sturdy casing needed what? 
centrifuge. Centrifuge, normal glass. Okay, I got the glass, the six normal copper, and here we go, a centrifuge. Uh, where am I going to stick this? I guess I can just drop it down here for now. Take one of these engines. One of these switches. Okay. It doesn't have a storage thing, so I don't need to keep it powered. Let me put this stuff in here. Silver. Now I have to... I need... Ah, here it is. Honeycomb. Honeycomb! I can finally do something with honeycomb. Now I know this is going to take a lot to get through an entire stack of this. But yeah, once it's done... All I have to do is take the beeswax and turn it into waterproofing and use it on these uh, normal stone stone pipes and stuff. So yeah. And once that's done, and I have the tesseract and the pipes, tesseract, the pipes, I'll stick this in here. I got the pump already. I got the redstone engine to power the pump. I got waterproof piping on the way. Still need the tesseract, which I need means I need what is it? Six? No, five. Five more ender pearls. And I'm also going to need a thing, something to put them in. And for that, I'm going to be using an iron tank. And to make an iron tank. Need iron plates. And it looks like this is out of power. Stick some coal in there, get that working again. Yeah, okay. Should be powering up. Stick all 20 of them in there. But yeah, iron tanks are a multi block item from Railcraft, I believe. I think it's Railcraft. And it is a customizable thing. You can use iron tank walls, iron tank gauge, and iron tank valve. And you use these blocks to build a large 3x3, 6x3, 5x5, 7x7 square area that's at least four to eight blocks high. I think it has to be four blocks minimum and up to eight blocks high and it can be up to nine by nine square on the base. But for now we're just gonna build a smaller one. Uh, I think uh, maybe a three by three tank should be enough. And for that we're gonna need iron tank walls iron tank gauges, at least four, and iron tank valves. For that we need iron bars, one laver, and just normal, just these plates. So let's make some bars real quick. I think we have extra levers in here, or not. Okay, let's make some levers. One lever, a bit of stone. Okay, it was a lever, tank plating, and bars, right? There we go. Iron tank valve. Now the iron tank gauge is the same thing with just glass. Glass panes, actually. And I'm out of glass. Uh, I didn't have any extra glass, did I? 
I think I'm out of glass. Uh, which means I need to make more. Luckily, I uh, pulverized some gravel. Um, for some reason, uh, ore keeps bypassing the diamond pipe. Well, just occasionally, actually. Not all the time. Let me stick this in here. Stick some... Damn it, it's in my bag. Digger's backpack. Okay, I'll put about 20 in here. Let me turn it off so I can just grab it. Uh, I needed six, right? Yeah, that should be enough for now. Let the rest just flow up. Okay, six glass to make some panes, and it was panes in the corner, and these here, right? Or did I mess that up? Ah, one in the middle too. There we go. Four iron tank gauges, and the rest of this iron tank wall. Nice. Now I think I put a full stack going, so I may as well use it. Better to have too much than not enough. There we go. Now I think... hmm, I'm gonna need a nice big area build this tank. And there's a creeper. Let's get him to come over here so I can smack him with my sword. Blow up in the water? Yes! Okay, I'm gonna have it uh, kinda far out. Maybe right about here. This looks like a good spot. I'm going to put a building right here, but for now I'll just build this uh, tank. Let's see, I think I'll have the tank over here, right about here, and then I'll have my power systems over here my magmatic engines, my thermal generators, all powering everything and sending it back into the building from here. Now I need to build a some type of structure around it, some type of building, but for now I think I'll put the tank, start with the tank here. Let's see. They need to start with a framework of iron tank walls. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Mm, I think I'm going to go four high. Three, four, four, five. Okay. You know what? I think I'm maybe short on on these. Okay, and that's the framework of what we're going to be having this look like. Now what we do is we fill the bottom of this. Oops. You, I believe you have to do do the framework like this first before you start filling in the sides. Now we put the tank bottom like that. Now I'm going to have a valve right there 
what's it called? Iron tank valve, yeah. And one right here. Now what the valve does, it allows you to input and ex and take input and output of the tank. It allows you to put stuff into the tank and take it out of. This is where you put the pipe in. So it's very important to plan ahead where you're putting this. Now I'm also going to put one right here. And I'm going to put the glass viewer. Well, the tank gauge, tank gauge, I should say, right there, and I think one right here, and the rest I'm just going to fill in with these, and I'm not going to have enough. Now, once we fill in these walls and the center is empty, we it turns into a singular block structure and we'll be able to input through the valves lava or water or any type of liquid well any type of compatible liquid so I'm gonna need some more iron do I have any iron in here? Ah, here I have some iron right there in front of, right here in my bag already so let's put some iron uh, let's see if that is going to be enough see how much of this we have. Ah, here we go, beeswax. Now we take the beeswax while I'm waiting for that. Let me go grab some pipes. Should have some pipes up here. Yeah, stone transport pipe. Also gonna need a wooden transport pipe and I don't think I have any. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have any wooden transport pipes. Uh, none in there either. Okay. Now let me turn this off. Anyway, we take the beeswax and we just put it in there and turn it into pipe waterproofing. And we take the stone transport pipe, put it in there, and we come out with stone waterproof pipe. Fairly simple and easy. Now, as I said, we're also going to need a wooden transport pipe, but we also need glass for that, which I have to go back upstairs and get more. Uh, I don't think I have it. I don't think I have glass sorted. Maybe I do. Do I have it in building materials? Yes. Ah, perfect. Right there in building materials. Now put some glass, make some more waterproof. Gonna need to get some more let me put this uh empty out my bag a little bit. All these seeds I don't need. I don't need the stone slabs. And I think I'll just push put the glass panes in here. Where are they? <laughs> Hard to see them in this texture pack. And I think that's it. Ah, need to put some food down there. Okay. This should be done. I hope 24 blocks is enough. Luckily, one ingot makes a block. I hope this is enough. If it's not, then I'm going to have to go back and make a few more. So, one, two, three, four, five. And I also hope that five by five with four high is enough as well. You'll be able to tell because the glass will become one piece. And it doesn't look like it is. Ah, damn it. Oh, that's why. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot to fill in the top. Okay, one more try. Let's see... Now. Ah, it worked. As you can see, it's now working because the uh, two uh, viewers here became one solid piece and connected. 
And if we right click on it, we can see that it can hold 1,600,000, which is basically 1,600 buckets of lava. That is 1,600 buckets of lava in this block, which is very nice. And all we have to do is put an input pipe to this little square right here on the valve. And we can pump our lava into there and store it up. And have it ready for all our power systems once we get those set up. And we will have to put a wooden trans waterproof transport pipe to suck it out of here. But that's not such a bad, bad thing. Now I do need to light this area up. I don't want creepers blowing up my stuff. I mean, this isn't really that expensive to make, considering it only takes one plate to make one uh, block. So it's fairly simple and cheap to make this big structure. And like I said before, you can make it a 9x9 nine nine square at the base and up to 8 high. And with a, with a tank that big, you can hold 10,000 buckets of lava. I know because I have one on the server I play on from when I was still using lava as my power source. And it was huge. Took forever to fill it up. Drained large sections of the nether doing that. But yeah. Now that we have that set up, all we need to have now is we also need to build the liquid tesseracts, which is going to be the most annoying thing because I still need to find more endermen. And they've been hiding from me. Ah, ah well. Hopefully I'll be able to get a few more tonight. But let's go look at what we were doing because I have no idea what it was we were doing. Get a bit more beeswax. Make a couple waterproof. Oops, forgot I need to turn that into waterproofing first. And now the waterproof wooden pipes. There we go. Make a few more stone waterproof pipes again. Never have too much of it. Okay. Now what should I do? That's still going. I think I have some more wax in here. Yeah, honeycombs, I should say. Stick that in there. Has enough coal? Ah, it's almost out of coal. Do I have any coal in here? No, I need to go grab some. Hack. I still say I hate these stairs. I should have planned them a bit better than this. Uh, uh, coal is in here. Running low on coal. Oh, got nine diamonds. Miner also needs to check on my miner. That reminds me, I do need to check on my miner. I don't know if it's still running. It's run out of power. I didn't know if it had enough lava to keep it going. Let me stick a few more coal in here. Let me clear out my bag. Stick that in there. This I can put back in there. Waterproof piping and other pipes I can stick here, here there, there. I'll stick the diamond pick because I only need that when I'm mining obsidian and I'm not going to be doing that right now. Uh, I'll just stick all this stuff in my project chest and that. I'll keep this here, keep that. Uh, always nice to have that with me. And I don't know why I'm still carrying that wrench. And I 
need to make a few more torches because I am nearly out. Okay. Now, what are we going to be doing? I think I'm going to go check on my miner. I think it may be either be out of lava and power or it may have hit bedrock. Either way, I need to go back to the nether anyway. So I may go back down into there, go back to the nether, get some more lava, set up a platform for my lava pumping station, and set up the pump, set up everything so it's ready to go when I have those two tesseracts ready. Two tesseracts ready. They'll be ready to go. Now I have noticed those two silverwood trees there and over there. Don't think that I haven't noticed them. And I've just been kind of ignoring them because I haven't been doing anything with Thaumcraft yet. And I didn't really want to get into it. And I wasn't going to cut them down and try and get saplings right now. Because Thaumcraft like bee breeding and tree breeding and all that kind of stuff is really time consuming. Okay, sorry about that brief interruption and sudden cut. Bandicam <laughs> hit the 10 minute mark, so I had to stop. But yeah, uh, looks like I ran out of power. Doesn't look like I got any cells, which means I have to go get more lava. Yep, it's completely out. No power whatsoever. Ah. I'm going to grab some more cells out of here. Uh, let me just grab this whole, this whole stack of these. And leave a few in there just in case. But yeah, I'm going to have to go to the nether, get some more lava to refill this, and I'll do that next time in the next episode, because this one's running a bit long. I think it's already up to 20 some odd minutes. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.